This episode is called Magic Xylophone, Making Bingo. In the previous video, I made Bluey as a gnome from the Magic Xylophone episode, and I'm using her as a reference as I create the armature wire skeleton for my bingo. I really wanted to make sure that I didn't make my bingo too tall in comparison to my Bluey. Once I'm happy with the armature wire skeleton, I cover it with a bingo shaped piece of ultralight clay for the base. And when I'm happy with the overall shape, I put her in the oven to bake. Once the base is baked and cooled, I cover her in a thin layer sheet of Super Sculpey clay. Once her body is completely covered in the Super Sculpey, I take a small piece of Super Sculpey to create her mouth, and then I also take some oval shapes to create the eyes, and I blend them into the base of the Super Sculpey. Moving on to her mouth, I use my spoon shape tool to create the basic shape of how I want her mouth to go. And then I get distracted and I create her nose by placing a little piece of clay right at the end of her nose. Then moving back to her mouth, I take a small clay noodle and place it right where I marked her mouth to go and then I blend it in. Then I take a little bit smaller clay noodle and I place it right underneath her teeth to create that bottom lip area. Once I'm happy with her face, I take some triangle shaped pieces of clay and I make some little edges for the inside of her ears and then I place them right where her ears would go and then blend them in place. Then for her eyebrows, I take some little wormy shaped pieces of clay and I place them where eyebrows go and then I also blend them into place. For her pupils, I take some little oval shaped pieces of clay to place them where her pupils would go. This is part two of me forgetting these characters have tails, so I had to create a hole in my base, then add some wire and secure it with some Super Sculpey clay. Next, I cover the leg part of her armature wire skeletons with some clay, and I blend it in in the same fashion that I did with my Bluey character, and I shape it into leg and feet shaped pieces of clay. Then I take my little needlepoint tool and I create some lines in her feet where her toes would go. For her arm pose, I decided to do it in the pose that she has when she finds the dinger after she pulls a xylophone out of the toy box. So I cover her armature wire in some clay and then I take some little balls of clay at the base to create her little fingers. I cover her other arm in some clay as well, but I have this arm up because it's going to be holding the dinger up into the sky. And here I'm taking a little piece of wire and I'm covering it in some clay to create the base of my little xylophone dinger. Then I put a little ball on top to create the little hammer portion of the dinger. After I'm happy with its shape, I put it in the oven to bake so I don't mess it up. Then I use some bacon bond to apply it to her hand to help it get a really firm grip. And then I also wrap some little pieces of clay for her fingers around it and then blend it in. Here I realized I didn't finish her tail, so I'm adding the little tufts at the end and then putting her in the oven to bake. Moving on to my xylophone, I take a longish rectangle piece of clay and I take four keys of 
different sizes to place on this base to create that magic xylophone shape. I blend each of the keys into the bottom rectangled shape piece to ensure that the, each key are firmly secure into place. Once I'm finished with each of the keys, I cut off the excess at the end of my xylophone and then I place some other rectangled shapes on the ends to create the ends of the xylophone and then I blend those into the base. Once the basic xylophone shape is finished, I take some little tiny dots to place on each of my keys to indicate the wood pieces that hold the keys into place. While my xylophone is baking, I give Bingo a base white coat to really help the yellowish orange colors pop. Then I take the medium color of the orangish brown yellow color that she has and I paint most of the areas except for the lighter parts where her tummy and hands and feet are. Next I take the darker reddish orange color and I color it right around her ears and around the top portion of her head, very similar to how I did Bluey. Based on the reference photos that I could find, she has a little orange spot right on her tail and then a big spot right in the middle of her back. Using a lighter yellow cream color, I paint her hands, her tummy, her feet and ankles, and the tip of her tail. I also paint her eyebrows, her mouth area, and the little center portion of her head right up to her ears, that same yellowish cream color. To finish up her face, I paint her eyes and her nose black. Lastly, I paint the wood handle portion of the xylophone dinger a tan color and then I finish it off by painting the little hammer portion of the xylophone dinger red. Moving on to the xylophone, I paint all of the wooden parts of the xylophone that same tan color that matches the dinger. Then I paint each of the keys, starting with red going to yellow, green, and then a blue color. I then finish up the xylophone by painting each of the little nails that hold each of the keys in place that same tan color as the wood. The room and where Bingo is when she gets the dinger and the xylophone out of the toy basket, it's kind of a wood floor color, so I try to match the wood base of this sculpture to the similar color of the wood floor in this episode. Once I have my wood base completely painted, all I have to do is glue the xylophone in place on the floor to match the scene and she'll be ready for the glamour shots. And there you have it, Bingo holding the magic xylophone dinger and the magic xylophone itself. I hope you enjoyed watching me make her, and if you missed my Bluey Gnome from the same episode of the Magic Xylophone that I had posted last week and you would like to check it out, I will link it at the end of this video. I hope you will all have a great day and remember to stay crafty.